Good morning and welcome to the Change of Command Ceremony for Headquarters and Headquarters Company, Joint Multinational Radio Center Operations Group. Today, Captain Chad L. Williams relinquished command of Headquarters Company, Operations Group, Joint Multinational Radio Center to Captain Andrew J. Matujic. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Anthem. The Joint Multinational Radio Center Chief of Staff, Lieutenant Colonel John P. O'Sullivan, will now officiate over the transfer of the Guidon. The transfer of the company Guidon is significant in many ways. The history, traditions, and accomplishments of the headquarters and headquarters company are embodied in it. With the transfer, the unit's legacy is passed as a building block for future performance and achievement. Historically, the flag or colors of a unit served as a point around which the soldiers of the organization rallied as they moved forward into battle. The colors have traditionally been at the side of the commander and were carried forward even when the commander fell in combat. All others may perish, the colors live on. The guidon is an extension of the unit colors to the company level. With the transfer of the guidon here today goes the transfer responsibility for the accomplishment of the headquarters and headquarters company mission and the welfare of the troops. The senior NCO of the organization is traditionally responsible for maintenance, and care of the colors, and so the first sergeant presents the unit guide on to the outgoing commander, Captain Chad L. Williams, signifying the unit's appreciation for his leadership and guidance. Captain Chad L. Williams salutes the company guide on, signifying passing authority to the chief of staff, symbolizing the relinquishment of his command and gratitude for the opportunity to lead soldiers. Lieutenant Colonel John P. O'Sullivan now salutes the company guide on, signifying passing authority to the incoming commander. Captain Andrew J. Matujic, entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the unit. In accordance with AR 600-20, paragraph 3-4, the undersigned assumes command of the Headquarters and Headquarters Company Operations Group, GMRC, effective 15 May 2020. Signed, Captain Andrew J. Matujic, Military Police Commanding. Captain Andrew J. Matujic entrusts the guide on with the First Sergeant, signifying his trust and confidence in the leaders and soldiers of the organization. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief of Staff of the Joint Multinational Radio Center, Lieutenant Colonel John P. O'Sullivan. Good morning. Colonel and Mrs. Hilbert, Colonel Boyd, Command Sergeant Major Franklin, fellow leaders and teammates of the Joint Multinational Readiness Center and Hohenfels Training Area and Community, fellow families and friends. Thank you all for joining the Honey Badgers, these two great Americans, their families, and me this morning. Today is an opportunity to recognize the many and varied accomplishments of the soldiers of the mighty Honey Badger Company, while thanking the outgoing and welcoming the incoming commander. Only 10 short months have passed since we gathered together to welcome Captain Chad Williams, his wife Elle, and their boys, Levi and Sage. Times have changed quite a bit as we must now meet virtually to say goodbye to that incredible team. In those intervening 10 months, HHC has accomplished a ton under Chad's leadership. As most of you know, Chad is responsible for a huge and disparate company of over 600 soldiers. But if you look at the alert roster book, you see that he has direct control of only a few of them. 
Such is the challenge of a headquarters and headquarters company, or HHC. Usually reserved for an experienced captain as a second command, an HHC commander must possess the leadership traits of a diplomat and the reflexes of a cat, or he or she will struggle. Fortunately, and sometimes for Chad, unfortunately, most of the soldiers in Chad's company also have a post-battalion command lieutenant colonel and post-battalion command sergeant major between Captain Williams and the soldiers. I do not envy the challenge in dodging those potential pitfalls, and it is a testament to the leadership that Chad brought that not once did a senior leader come to me to complain about Chad's exercise of his command. Captain Williams truly made it easy, and the company's accomplishments reflect that. Chad did all the things one expects of a company commander. He identified a way to large property book and figured out a way to move about a third of it, 53 pages, by either turning in excess or unneeded property or transferring it to contractor control. And I'm pretty sure Captain Matwijic appreciates that. Chad also figured out a way for JMRC soldiers to train for the new Army Combat Fitness Test. Despite a local lack of equipment, terrain, or facility to execute it in. Chad and his team also planned and executed an outstanding organization day for the community and continued the tradition of awesome holiday parties where the price was right. Because of the uniqueness of JMRC, Captain Williams also did things that are not usually expected of a company commander. He put on his contracting hat and helped transition out of one $770,000 contract into two other contracts at the same time. Then he put on his strategic finance officer hat and helped create a program objective memorandum, or POM, sheet for the Viper team so that they could be funded in fiscal years 22 through 26. This is a task usually handled at the division or above level. However, nothing made me more proud than to see the way Captain Williams took care of his soldiers, of which I am grateful that I was one of them. Throughout the year, Chad made it his mantra that no personnel actions would sit on his desk overnight. And I'm sure much to El chagrin, Chad stood by those words, working many a late night to ensure all 600 plus soldiers in the company received swift actions they deserved. Captain Williams also recognized he needed to take care of future soldiers, uh, and he helped to spearhead the effort to update and put useful uh, videos through the Viper team as part of the effort to update the sponsorship program at JMRC. Lastly, Chad made sure that each and every soldier received everything that Chad could give them, ensuring that soldiers and families who had any problems at all, big or small, received access to the resources they needed to help them out. Chad always ensured that soldiers and families were treated fairly in the exercise of his command authorities, and that is a challenge even for the most seasoned leaders. Chad, I am humbled to have been able to work with you and your team over the past 10 months. The soldiers will surely miss the personal touch you put on everything that you did. I look forward to hearing all about your future successes as you move over to your second command with Apache Company in 1-4 Infantry. What the Honey Badgers are losing, Apache is gaining. Good luck in command again. Fortunately, as one great American leaves, another takes his place. JMRC and Hohenfels are fortunate to invite Captain Andrew Matwijic to the Honey Badger family. Andy, you have big shoes to fill, but the Army has made the right decision based on your background and the unique skills you bring to the table. Remember, always take care of your soldiers and, your, and their families, and there is no limit to what HHC will continue to accomplish under your leadership. I look forward to working with you and watching you take the Honey Badgers to even greater heights over the coming days, weeks, and months. As a fellow Prince William County Virginian, I know you've got what it takes. Do VA proud. In closing, this is a great day to recognize the excellence of the soldiers and this company and what they provide for readiness across Europe. It is a bittersweet day, bittersweet day as we bid farewell to one commander and welcome in a new one but it highlights the successes of the soldiers and families of this organization as we look forward to even bigger and better successes in the future. Train to win.
Captain Chad L. Williams. Good morning and welcome to the distinguished guests, friends, and family participating in the ceremony today. I want to thank the commander of JMRC, Colonel Hilbert, and Command Sergeant Major Franklin. Thank you to Colonel O'Sullivan for officiating and the kind remarks, sir. I also want to thank the many leaders who've made it possible for me to briefly share my thoughts here today. Any and all successes I've had are entirely owed to the men and women who've invested in me, from my parents, Phil and Victoria, in the United States, to the leaders of the 492nd Civil Affairs, 1327 at Fort Campbell, and the United Nations Command Security Battalion in the DMZ. It is my great privilege to stand here as a member of this incredible organization. I hope to have served my small part supporting the tremendous men and women building readiness here in Operations Group. I am continually amazed at the professionalism, selfless service, and dedication to excellence that I have seen in this formation. It has truly been an inspiration to see this community band together through these last few months and the unprecedented challenges that they have brought. Thank you to all for your sacrifices, resilience, as we navigate not only the COVID-19 response, but the continued execution of this mission building readiness with our U.S. and multinational partners. It has been a great honor to serve alongside this incredible team. I'd like to express my gratitude for the countless hours of mentorship and guidance I've received from our OC team leadership. Thank you for your coaching and patience. I also want to thank my company headquarters team, from First Sergeant Wilkinson and Captain Crowley to Lieutenant Herbert, Sergeant Richards, Brusco, Miller, and Leary. Uh, the incoming leadership team as well, you have performed in an exemplary manner, and it has been an honor to have had the opportunity to serve alongside you. I could not be more proud of my Viper and CMA team. Alongside the JMRC staff, you have worked tirelessly to support our mission. Thank you for your efforts in keeping the Army rolling along here in our uh, portion of Hohenfels. Most important of all, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Elle. I do not have words to properly express my gratitude for your love, support, and sacrifice. You are my rock, and I hope you know how blessed I feel to be your husband. You've made our house a home and kept it in one piece despite Levi and Sage's best efforts. I love you, Danielle. Thank you. Levi and Sage, you little rascals, I love you very much. It has been amazing to watch you two grow and develop over this last year. I assumed command last summer, and I don't feel like I've gotten off the soapbox since, and so I'll spare everyone another long, drawn-out tangent, but I do hope that you will remember how grateful I've been to share these many months together. For Sergeant Edwards, I know the company is in great hands under your guidance and leadership. Andy, I'm excited to watch you build on the successes of our team and lead them forward through this next year in operations group history in the making. Thank you for your flexibility, cramming our rip into these last few weeks. No one is better suited for the job. Good luck, Andy. Not that you'll need it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all once again for participating today. I wish you continued success and happiness as we embark on another great year here in Europe's best kept secret. This is Honey Badger 6 signing off the net. Train to win. The commander of headquarters and headquarters company operations group JMRC, Captain Andrew J. Matwijic. Colonel Hilbert, Colonel Boyd, Lieutenant Colonel Sullivan, Lieutenant Colonel Bonham, distinguished guests, friends, families, officers, NCOs and soldiers of the Headquarters and Headquarters Company, Joint Multinational Radius Center, joining us virtually. Thank you for attending today's ceremony. I'd like to take a moment to thank Colonel Hilbert and Colonel Boyd for giving me the opportunity to command the Headquarters and Headquarters Company, JMRC at Hohenfels, Germany. Thank you for your faith and confidence in me and your continued guidance. I look forward to commanding the largest company in Europe, comprised of some of the top leaders currently serving in our military. Chad, I want to take a minute to express my gratitude for all of your hard work and commitment to the soldiers of this unit over the past year. I want to thank you, as well as Lieutenant Herbert and Sergeant Gonzalez, for helping me to make the transition from the Directorate of Emergency Services to the JMRC team. I'm truly impressed with the professionalism, discipline, respect, and responsibility each one of your soldiers, NCOs, and officers embodies and demonstrates on a daily basis. Thank you for leaving First Sergeant Edwards and me with an outstanding organization. First Sergeant Edwards, I look forward to working with you as a command team and taking this unit to the next level. To my teammates from United States Army Garrison Bavaria and the Directorate of Emergency Services, thank you for being outstanding teammates 
these two and a half years as I served as a Deputy Provost Marshal. I look forward to continuing to work alongside you as we carry out the Army's mission here in Bavaria. To the soldiers, NCOs, and officers of HHC, JMRC, I am honored and I am humbled to be given this opportunity to be your commander. Lastly, I'd like to thank my family back home in the United States. It's because of them that I am standing here today. Their prayers and support have always sustained me. Train to win. This is Honey Badger 6, signing on the net. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army song. Sir, this concludes today's ceremony. Train to win. Take charge of your company. This concludes the Headquarters and Headquarters Company Operations Group GMRC Change of Command Ceremony.